Hello everyone, my name is Julio Herlein. I am composer, I am guitarist and professor at university here in Brazil. And I'm here to talk about um, why I use Opus Modus, a very interesting software, a complete environment for computer assisted music composition. I will explain to you how I gradually decided to move to this kind of environment and how I started using software for uh, computer assisted composition. Hope you like it! One important thing to say is that Opus Modus is historically referenced, so you, you are going to find a lot of information inside the functions of the software. This information is related to techniques and intellectual achievements made by composers and theorists throughout the history of music. When I started to study composition in a more academic way, I started to ask many questions on how to organize the notes, the pitches, in a system of, of pitch organization, how to organize rhythms, how to organize the form of the compositions, and every aspect of music. So I was interested in music that I was not familiar with. The first time that I really need to make a piece with pre-compositional stuff was in a piece called Ainda Não for solo nylon guitar. This music was based in tone rows and you have to previously organize this kind of material. Uh, at this time I was doing everything manually so I, I had to make my tone row and to calculate the chords that I could get from it, and uh, it was very time-consuming. In order to do this music, you have to uh, make all the forms of the, the row, like the original form, the inverted form, the retrograde, etc. Then eventually you can go to the fun part of our, the most rewarding experience, that is experimenting the sounds in the instrument. When I started my master's degree in composition, I was still interested in, in computer-assisted music. So this time I took another way. I, I chose a software made in, in Australia called Nodal, that uses a lot of little uh, circles that you could actually see the, the process of, of building the, the music. I was uh, interested in something that I could m kind of manipulate, kind of uh, I, I needed that graphical stuff to to, to play with, like a, like a game, like a little game, and then I started building my music uh, with Nodal software, and it. It was quite interesting because in that interface I could see the cycles of music. Cycles in general, like uh, pitch cycles, like rhythm cycles, like the Thalia and color that Messiaen used in his music. So uh, that interface of Nodal was interesting to to see that stuff. After uh, a little time I was in, in, in my doctorate degree and I, I was still interested in some kind of uh, algorithms and ways to, to build music in systems of composition and ways of organizing pitches and rhythms and everything else. Part of my doctorate time, I was really constructing an enormous patch and pure data. So, after a one and a half year constructing all that, that stuff, I was kind of lost because uh, I was feeling like trapped in a giant machine. Actually, a Ruby Goldberg machine.
I was getting a little crazy trying to find some system and some machinery inside the music and that was the, the wrong way because actually uh, I was using the wrong tool to find what I was searching. I was using a tool that was designed to make real-time music and the appropriate tool was the one that deals with, with symbols, with notation and that was the reason I turned it to Opus Modus Oh, I also tried uh, to integrate Lily Pond with Pure Data that was exhausting As a last example, we're going to take a fractal sequence number named the Kolakowski sequence that I took from the online encyclopedia of integer sequences founded by the great mathematician Neil Sloan. Let's take the same Kolakowski sequence and use it as the sequence of integers and also as the sequence of rests. Here is the result, a more complex alternation between rests and notes. Doing justice, actually the patch was useful for doing some major orchestrations and control articulations in real time. This is the main difference when using coding. In Opus Modus you are not going to see things happening like uh, machinery, like cables, uh, connecting cables and, and, and doing stuff like that is more like coding and, and getting and seeing the results so you have to, to think ahead it's a different approach but i love it oh. <laughs> this time i decided to really buy ops model software and it, it was the best thing that i i did in the in, the, in these times because um after a little time of learning and, and, and a little time of experimentation, I could get great results. And the best thing is actually that you can get it directly in notation. And it's, it's very handy because if you want to make music that is written down and the score, it's very handy.